my way to an estate sale and what is in front of me? A truck filled with hay. It might be straw, but we're gonna pretend it's hay because that means good luck. I thought that was Disney. <laughs> Not Disney. It just can't be.
Not here, I don't. I have more boxes out in the car. Oh, I'm not going to go much here. I'm going to grab him. I'm going to wait around it. Yes. Oh, that's is that your box? I'm yes. sorry. I sorry, heard. Not, no. <laughs> this is great. This is a great sale. Oh, I got this off the wall. According to this, he is dead, but... Big man. Clubhouse. There's General George Washington's battleship. Never thought you'd see that in person, huh? So apparently in some of the more desired items were removed by the family. And that made a lot of people mad. You don't have anything in the right now. VHS tapes. Marilyn Monroe's 75th birthday. found them again. Well, that wasn't a bad sale. I didn't really stress myself over it. I didn't, I, I glanced at the pictures. There was old stuff in there. Um, but I think I came away with some fun things. The books I thought were really good. Um, we have an electric vintage pumpkin and we found out that Elvis is dead. But I don't want to think that. He's probably just around you know, eating peanut butter banana sandwich. Maybe he's at an estate sale, but we did not find Elvis there. <laughs> we just found him on a sticker. So what did I buy at this little estate sale? A variety of items with two items being the profit makers for me and the one I found just when I was getting ready to leave. And that was the pair of the vintage acrylic lucite gold fleck candles. These are still popular, they're still collected. You cannot use them. They are for decorative purposes only, but people really enjoy them. Even one candlestick can sell between 10 to $15. A pair, it all depends on the condition and the color because not all of them are gold. A pair can sell anywhere between 20 to 40 to $50 and even higher. Again, depending on the condition, what they look like, and also uh, the desirability of them. So these were in the bag with the Halloween items. I didn't look in that bag on my first go around in the garage and then the second go around right before I left, I swooped these up. So these will pay for everything that I purchased and then some. I also picked up the I'm Dead Elvis sticker. I, I, I had to have it. So. This home, the garage was kind of transformed into an additional room and there were posters all over. There were Elvis, Fonzie, Broadway shows. I mean, this, this woman must have loved Elvis, loved dolls, loved the old posters and ads. So this was on the wall. Um, a viewer actually helped me to get it down. So a thank you, I couldn't quite reach. I was a little bit too short. Whether or not Elvis is dead, I will leave that up to you. I know some people still think that he's walking around. Then I picked up a little grouping of bunnies. So 
these were in the one room. I think they were in the bedroom. They had been on the bed. People had, you know, looked through these. I think that oftentimes when people see the Beanie Baby-esque Beanie Baby animals, they kind of think, forget it. But these were Disney. So from left to right, we have good old Roger Rabbit. He has become a cult classic somewhat. The female bunny, I believe her name is Lola, and she is from the original Space Jam. Then the two guys, I don't know why I said the Mad Hatter, but you have the white rabbit and the March Hare. I do not have these beanie babies or these beanie bags, Disney beanie bags, and you can see they had a price of $6, so these are older. They're, they're not current because they would not be $6. So the March Hare and White Rabbit will be staying with me for obvious reasons because I love Alice in Wonderland. Roger Rabbit, believe it or not, again, depending on what is available online, he can sell anywhere between $20 to $40. It would have been even better if there would have been Jessica Rabbit, um, his, his woman, and then the car, Hermie, was that the car's name? I forget what the car's name was, but that was like the classic trio from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That actually was a great, great movie. Yeah, so between Roger Rabbit and the Lucite Candles, I have made a decent profit on everything that I purchased. For my own memories, I did buy the Hart Family coloring book, a few other coloring books, and then a Visit to the Haunted House pop-up book. I had the Visit to the Haunted House book when I was little. I recognized the cover immediately. I'm sure I probably still have it at my mom's house somewhere packed away. The Hart family, I received that Barbie set for a Christmas present when I was little, and I remember playing with it. So that brought back some great memories. The coloring book is used. I think all the coloring books that I picked up from there were colored in. If you are looking to resell coloring books, do not pass them up. Some can actually be pretty valuable depending on, again, the content and if they are colored in or not. Um, they're just another fun, fun piece of paper, I guess you could say, uh, that a lot of people collect or in this case, in my case, bring back memories. I did pick up some vintage holiday. I did not see much vintage Christmas. According to some of the other people at the sale that I spoke with, the homeowners actually removed some of the uh, more desired items from the sale, but the pictures were never removed from the estate site. So there were many disgruntled people coming here looking for a certain thing only to find that it was nowhere to be found. I didn't have that problem at all. <laughs> I had fun just digging through the boxes and seeing what this person had accumulated throughout their life. So yes, we have the ceramic eggs. These were made um, in China, I believe, but uh, probably from the 80s, early 90s, they have that you know vintage chocolate egg look to them. We have good old Mr. Turkey in the background and then the Halloween pumpkin with the ghost inside, though he looks kind of like a clown. Missing the topper though, but that's okay. You know, for the few cents I paid for it, I don't mind that. Then I also bought this guy. I saw the box and immediately was like, yes, please. So this is a Halloween electric pumpkin. I believe that there is one online now. I think they're asking $50. This did not come with the electric cord, but I mean, how easy is that to replace? I like the look of this pumpkin because it reminds me of the pumpkin used in the original Halloween movie, and that is probably my favorite Halloween horror flick. And that was all that I got. So a little bit of Halloween, a little bit of childhood memories, and then two items that should be easy sells to get my money back and also make some profit, which is great. But I do enjoy being able to go through and see what these homes have to offer what people have collected and accumulated throughout the years. This lady loved Elvis, and though the bumper sticker said he's dead, we're still going to pretend he's off singing somewhere. Perhaps I'll see him at the next estate sale. Wouldn't that be something? I better have my camera going that day. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose. Have a great day, and I will see you all in the next video.